Hey there, I'm Farmer Brad and I'm out in my garden right now and I have a really cool product that I'm gonna show you. This product was sent over by the fine folks at Rainpoint. Let me show you what it is. Uh, it's a two zone Wi-Fi water timer with smart display hub. I have uh, two areas in my garden that I, I keep on forgetting to water. We have the herbs and some flowers on the fence line and then we have the, the green stock vertical garden and so this will should solve that that problem so let me unbox it and make sure to check out Rainpoint where it's not just one item but it's a whole ecosystem of products that can help make things easier as I always say uh, farmer Brad YouTube channel is that I'm always trying to make things more efficient make things easier to operate automate thing and this is a great way to do it uh, so let me pull it out of the box and show you what we got here so this is this is the water timer so you hook it up to the garden hose and then you can manually push these buttons this has a nice feel to it uh, to turn them on and off and then here are the spigots uh, that you hook what you want to control so and then right here is the hub and I'll get this set up as well so first thing I need to do is just go ahead and bring over an extension cord to get this hooked up these do need AA batteries this one the hub needs three AA batteries water timer needs four AA batteries now you might say well why don't they provide the batteries well if you really think about it these products may be in a warehouse somewhere for a decent amount of time and by you providing the AA batteries then it's a good way to guarantee that the batteries are as charged as possible and good to go. Uh, I'm going with the Energizer batteries today in this setup you might be uh, trying Duracell um, to each their own. So they've included a quick start guide and really what you want to do is go over to the app store or there's a QR code in here and download the HomeGar app, H-O-M-G-A-R. And once you have that downloaded, and I'll be showing some screenshots, you'll register for an account, and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I have battery in these devices. Goes in there like that. And then they have these uh, four dots, so that you know which direction it needs to go. And then that ends up being a rain tight seal. And it's starting to flash up, flash some red lights. And then to open up the back, you just slide that down and that exposes the opening for three AA batteries. Now, as far as I understand with these, the AA batteries are a backup. So you also want to hook it up with the power cord. So I got the batteries in there. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and let me go ahead and bring up the app and I will show you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm gonna press the plus sign and I'm going to look under hub and I'm gonna click on display hub. So you need to make sure that you have your Bluetooth turned on. Okay, so I'm gonna to connect to the Wi-Fi. I'm going, to take, I'm going to take this cover off here so I can get to the display screen. And it says to press the uh, Wi-Fi button. Okay, so it's hard to see on here, but it's uh, saying app scan. So you need to hold the Wi-Fi button for five seconds. Okay, so now it's searching for the hub. And I'll mention right now, if you go into the description, uh, Rainpoint is providing my subscribers with a discount code. So the information will be there uh, about that. And that discount code is only good until October 31st of 2023. So uh, once this video goes live, uh, make sure to check out that discount promo code to take advantage of that. And I wanna say thanks to Rainpoint for uh, uh, giving us the discount code for that and sending this product to give it a try. So there is a brightness button on the top that says light and you can tap that and it will make the screen brighter or dimmer. So I'll put it all the way up so I can see it out here. And we have a Wi-Fi point uh, over there on the roof 
Okay, it looks like it found the device. And I am going to rain point display hub. I'll name it that, and it is connected. Now I'm gonna go back and to the plus sign, and I am going to add a controller, which is a two zone timer. Now it's um, ready to pair. It says to make sure to have it close, and tells me to press the left button, and then it, it flashed some lights. And it's like, oh, it's, it's connected. So that's that's pretty awesome. Wow, that was way easier uh, than I than I thought it would be. So on here it shows the left, which I'll go ahead and rename this and name it as uh, Garden Wall, and I'll save that. And then I will let's see. Oh, let's see. Oh, okay. Foul description. Garden Wall. I will change the device name to two zone water timer. And then the description for the right is green stock. Okay, got that. Now let's go over and hook up this controller and let's get it tested. So in the box, it did come with some Teflon tape. Okay, I'm gonna put Teflon tape on here. And then while I have it out, I'm going to put the Teflon tape where I'll be putting the garden hose adapters. Okay, I got the Teflon tape on there, Teflon tape on there. The quality of this device feels really good. Okay, I make sure that those are all snug. I did find out where I can change the units. So you click on this three dots here, unit format, and then change the temperature to Fahrenheit and the length to empirical for us. And, and then capacity is gallons. So I am going to push this button and it's turning it on. So this is what we're needing to fill. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop it. Okay, I'll stop it there. So now what I'm gonna do is check to see how much water went through. Yeah, that's a lot easier way than, uh, than trying to guess. So it said uh, 2.1 gallons is what was used. So I'll update this plan. So I'll update this plan and have it be just two gallons of water scheduled away. Um, now I'm going to press the other one just to get an idea of um, how, how, how many gallons. I, that one I probably should just do it by time. Okay, so here is the display. It gives the height and low, indoor, outdoor, temperature, and right now it's showing that um, Use 0.1 gallons, and that is for the garden wall. So, from my understanding, I should be able to take this inside and be able to monitor it 
from the sun. Yeah, so definitely uh, check out. They have outdoor thermometer, hydrometer, sensors, uh, soil moisture sensors, water flow meters. Um, I mean, what we have here is the two zone. They also make one zone water timer. Uh, I mean, with this display and the app, this uh, two zone water timer is perfect because it also measures the amount of water that's going through it. So yes, I just verified and it works inside as long as it's connected to the same uh, within range of your Wi-Fi network, it will work. Yeah, this, this works fabulous. That's awesome that you can have it stop based off of the number of gallons that go out because in this case with the green stock I have a certain volume of water that needs to go out and with the wall you can set it for the timer so make sure to check out Rainpoint and use the promo code down below in the description that promo code is for a limited time so make sure to read the date next to that and thanks again Rainpoint for sending this out I definitely look forward to adding some more sensors and other things because this looks like a great system to help optimize and simplify gardening, not let plants die uh, when you forget to water it. So uh, make sure to check out the information and thanks again for checking out this video. Remember to subscribe to Farmer Brad if you want more do-it-yourself homesteading videos. Take care, until next time.